Hi, my name is Deputy Kramer and I'm the one of the two canine handlers for our two canines here in the city of Temecula. This is canine Deka. She comes to us from the Netherlands and for those of you that follow the social media uh, site for the Temecula Police Department, you probably know her well. Uh, she is our picturesque dog and she is a dual purpose Belgian Malinois. Now, she runs two different programs for us here in the city of Temecula. The first one is uh, she is a locating tool for narcotics that are hidden in vehicles or in somebody's house. And the second thing she does for us, she's an apprehension dog, which means that if someone is too dangerous for us to apprehend ourselves or the deputies are going after that person, he's too dangerous to be apprehended by just deputies, we will send Deka into either an area or a residence or a uh, vehicle and she will go apprehend that suspect for us. She is five years old. Uh, she is a Belgian Malinois and was trained approximately two years ago and has been with me since. Canine Boris is our other police service dog here in the city of Temecula and he is approximately four and a half years old and has been working with Deputy King for three years now. Canine Boris is also a dual purpose dog and searches for narcotics and for hidden people. Now the reason we use canines to go and look after uh, dangerous felons is mainly because they can locate people a lot faster than patrol deputies can. Now, if we have a big area, say the size of a football field with a lot of brushes and, and obstacles, we can send a canine out and search that area in about five minutes in what would take hours and hours for deputies to do. It's also a lot safer because the dog will know within about 40 feet where the suspect's located and can apprehend that suspect for us. That's why we patrol the city of Temecula with at least two canines, one for either end of the week.